Rise and shine, peeps. We got stuff to do today. Right, Baco? You guys remember those? Rasco, Cooper? He's gotten big. So, I got out of sheep. Some of you may remember I had sheep. Tore the pins down. <clears throat> Yesterday we spent the day leveling out the ground because we're gonna plant stuff there. We sold our house, which was across the road. Now we got some really awesome neighbors that live there. And I just want to make it look nice so when they look out their door, they're not seeing weeds and crap. So we tore everything out, flattened it out, and we're going to plant alfalfa. So also, I finally traded my 2630 in for a Gen 4 monitor. So that's exciting. I really don't, you guys probably don't even know this. I traded my 8320 off. So, I think it was two, it's been, or going on two years now. Yeah, going on two years, I think, maybe three. Anyway, I traded my 8320 off. Um, I put five years in it, put a few hours on it, had like 8,000 some hours. I wanted to upgrade to the newer series, so. I traded it off for this 2012 and it's got the IVT in it which is way nicer for planting. It actually saves us a lot of money and fuel um, having an automatic transmission. Method. I call it automatic, but whatever. Anyways, let's go. Did I mention I traded Old Blue off the New Holland for 6155R John Deere? Here's the spot. It's kind of hard to see with the fog and stuff, but this was this used to be a railroad track right here. So it used to go like if you could picture it, it went up for the railroad and then came down and kind of had like a little ditch. So we we knocked that out the last couple of days, and then yesterday, uh, me and Dad were finishing it up with the box scraping. Got it flat, but it's really hard packed along there and right here. So I thought I'd change course. I'm gonna try the ripper. I have a feeling I'm gonna break a lot of bolts, but we're gonna try it. I mean, if I break bolts, then that's more enjoyable for you guys. It's funny how that works. So yeah, I just wanna put some alfalfa here. I want a crop that's gonna be low. Um, I wouldn't mind having straight grass here, but it takes a lot to get grass established. I don't have any water. Alfalfa is pretty tolerable, Tol tolerable, so we're going to give it a go. Well, howdy, y'all. Well, did you miss me? Go on and say I told you so. Yeah, now I know the straight life is a no-go. Yeah, I was wrong. I tried to get domesticated, but yesterday I finally could take it, and I was gone. I probably should have told my wife, but the minute I saw the light, I just dug out my boots and threw out the fanny pack, sold the plan and got my old hearty back, cranked up the bike and flew out the cul-de-sac, straight to the nearest bar. ACDC on the jukebox, back and back, got so drunk I singing like a maniac. Just about done. I ended up going down and back and down and back. Um, this is on 36 inch centers. And I was told at one point that 36 inch doesn't actually, when you go into the ground, it doesn't actually connect underground uh, by breaking it up. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not. If you know, let me know. But so I went down and back. So technically it's on 18s to really tear it up because this was a railroad many, 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 many years ago. So I really wanted to bust it up. Um, I'm gonna go down right here because this is a pretty hard packed spot. I'm not going exceptionally deep because there are tree ruts out here. Uh, most of them should be rotten by now. But don't want any problems. Good Come in. <clears throat> Morning, people. 
So, today's the day we're gonna go plant, and I thought I would show you guys something kind of cool. At least I think it's cool. This is my alfalfa rig. <clears throat> so this is an old cult pack machine that I bought on Big Iron uh, last year because I got tired of using like a 12 foot brilliant drill. Um, the brilliant drill did good. It just I wanted something that maybe tear the dirt up just a little bit more, but more or less I wanted something that was bigger. So this is, if I remember at like 25 foot, we're going to measure to make sure because I, honestly I forgot. So I bought this thing and then uh, me and Derek worked on the caddy system last year. So the, the caddy, <laughs> the gandy system. So that gandy box, I don't know if you guys remember, came with my hiller that I bought years ago. Um, the guy used to put down some, I think it was pesticide pellets. Don't quote me on that. When he would hill, but I'd never used it. So we put it on here and turned this into an air seeder. Um, really, really slick. We built these brackets. You could buy these brackets for like, 60 some bucks a piece, but we built all of them. We bent the plates. We added that It all goes on the front of here The seed will come out of this hole here and hit this plate and scatter. I will show you what that's like um, <clears throat> Then these crow's foot Will pack the ground chomp up the dirt clods, which is what I really like about these versus these does an amazing job and then the back one's just there to help pack too it does an awesome job with alfalfa small stuff we don't run these we don't need to um, as a matter of fact we're gonna chain these ones up because you can see we start dragging corn stalks and then it plugs but yeah pretty happy with it um, we used it some last year a fair amount <clears throat> if we can run it on it's on the big tractor because I have GPS. Don't need it. Um, the other thing is this tractor is wired up for it with the Taga switch. So the way these work is these go down when the wheels go down. When, oh my. We broke it, did it, it. <clears throat> I ended up welding this solid because it had so much flex it was annoying, but apparently. That's a little too much uh, pressure. So those bars there, I think if we just disconnect them and chain these up, I think we'll be fine. That's what we're gonna go for. So I'll raise it up so that way these are all the way maxed out in the air. And then we'll knock those pins out and chain it up. Bingo, got it. So those are chained in the air now. No more plugging. We are loaded with seed. We are ready to go, I think. I hope we have enough seed though, because I used everything I had left over, which was one bag. And then I also had a five gallon bucket that was completely full and a little coffee can, but. We're ready. Let's do this. First time ever. 
Now this wing won't go all the way in. It just stops. Hoses are good. It just stops. That one went. I'm assuming that there must have been some air in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accept. Accept. Let's go. Nope. John Deere really did a good job making these. God. There we go. Third time to charm. About 8 PSI, let's just make sure it works. Okay. So I don't think it's gonna pick up because alfalfa seat's so small, but I turned it on. Oh, it's not on constant. Turned it on, it comes out, it hits these and it flatters. But you can see we are getting a full coverage everywhere. So we're gonna plant right here. So one of the reasons why I don't like using those is because we're on grass right now. And sometimes we will be, instead of plugging it and dragging the seed, this way it just plants. So these coulters are gonna really smash up these bigger clods. It's just gonna destroy that. We'll probably do it twice. We'll plant one time and then run over again just to help pack it in. Just realized I didn't hit record. So we did one pass. You can see exactly where we went versus where we did it. I'll get out up here and show you the difference. So you can see how clumpy this is. It was like this all the way across. And what those crow's feet do is it comes in and mellows it all out. Now that was just one pass and this even has grass on it but you can tell the difference. That's why I really like this machine and these crow's feet. It just chops it up a little bit more, but it doesn't actually put it clear into the ground. Um, see if we can find some little seeds. There's one, there's one, and a few. Uncovered a little bit. There's one. The only thing nice about having those coulters down in the middle was you didn't see any tire track. The problem with it is, is it drags stuff. Now I'd rather have a little bit of tire print than it dragging. You can see that it's kind of rough in here and then look behind. I know it's hard to probably tell but I can't even tell you how nice of a job this thing is doing. These passes aren't very big over here. It's probably only like an acre. But this is where the old sheep pen used to be. And 
so I just wanted to do something so that way it just looks nice around here. What have I done? Starting to pivot. Change the speed. Good job. Farming stuff. Farming stuff. <laughs> yeah. Can you hold that? Yes. Watch how bad he is at turning. I don't have power steering. Excuses. You gotta put these leg nuts on for me? Nope. Why not? You need an exercise. Your first comeback and you're just gonna be mean. Yep. Show all the people your ugly soul. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Britt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other day we put some tires on, straight lugs, and I didn't have on my lug nuts. This is my field over by Pauline and oh about a month ago already we came out here and we put oats in the ground with the drill and a lot of them are kind of on top some went in the ground we didn't want to go too deep this is where I'm gonna put alfalfa I was gonna plant alfalfa this spring and I decided to wait uh, I wanted to do a crop of oats for hay and then I wanted to come in with like a, I'm going to do a millet and I might do part of it like a sedan grass uh, to really get some tonnage off of it. And then this fall we'll come in and put alfalfa. I figured this way I could get more, more crop on this type of year to sell because we're short anyways. So you can see some of these oats are on top. We finally had some moisture the other day, but obviously it's dry again you dig down a little ways and you get a little bit of moisture but there's one right there so they're starting but they needed moisture there's one there's one bunch of them right there so it looks like whatever was in the ground got going and the stuff that's on top is a little slow so we might be in trouble because my drill is far from precise but definitely the ones that did get in the ground are coming up really nice you see right there but we're gonna help the rows that didn't go in the ground because we're gonna water it's not supposed to freeze tonight it's supposed to be above 40 yet so hopefully by tomorrow night uh, we can get halfway around should be good well guys that's all i got for you on this video here hope you enjoyed it hope to see you next time and we are probably going to be getting really close to doing some planting uh, we got a little bit more cattle stuff coming up but we are within a week of planting crop uh, corn yellow corn and then we'll be rolling on some soybeans pretty soon yeah see like this it's gonna be questionable so thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs>